like this made Max Perot a decorated athlete. This silver medal in Pyeongchang was one of Canada's first at the 2018 Winter Olympics. Our new gold medalist. He's considered the most successful athlete ever in the Big Air event at the X Games. But today, the 24-year-old says he's leaving the fast-paced world of competition for now. I've been diagnosed with the uh, Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, it's been hard news to, uh, to, to take for me, my family and friends. Uh, it was very hard to, to digest. After his diagnosis a few days before Christmas, Perot started six months of chemotherapy, forcing him to put his career on hold. But so dedicated to his sport, he first asked his doctor if the treatment could wait. So I can go competing, you know? because um, I love competing. But yeah, so she explained to me what, what cancer actually is and that if you don't uh, treat it, you actually die in the end. So uh, when, I, when I heard the, the word dying, uh, it definitely got me and I was like, okay, I'm definitely not going to push the treatment away. Hodgkin's lymphoma in young adults has a 96% survival rate. Perot is determined to not only recover but compete again too. Well, he's shown over time with the X Games and the Olympics that he's able to, uh, to tackle big challenges and, uh, and perform the way he wants. So Max is Max, so he can, he can do whatever he wants in life and when he wants something, he gets it. That drive began when he bought his first snowboard at the age of nine, and it's what helped him achieve this. One, two, three, four. That was a quadruple underflip, folks! The first one ever in competition. As Perot faces a new challenge, people are rooting for him. Stay strong, buddy. We're here for you, you know. Um, we always been here for him. I will only focus on this challenge uh, for this year. And uh, the positive thing in all of this is that the doctor told me that I can stay active. And uh, actually, the more active that I stay, the better it is. He hopes to be back on his board competing again next year. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal. And Perot can take encouragement from the impressive record of high-performance athletes who were treated for Hodgkin's lymphoma and then made triumphant returns to competition. James Conner was a rising college football star until a diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma kept him on the bench. When I heard I got cancer, you know, I was, I was a little scared, you know, but fear is a choice. I think it's important he continue to work out, and after the first couple of weeks of treatment, he'll be able to get back to weightlifting. Right now wouldn't be a good idea. The treatments left him cancer-free. The continual training meant he was back on the field in top shape within nine months. It's like the first day of the rest of his life. I'm so excited and just so blessed and happy and thankful. He's healthy. It only got better when Connor was later drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. It was a similar story for Canadian hockey great Mario Lemieux. He was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma and took a year off to recover from treatment. This is not a hockey issue. It is a health issue. Mario Lemieux. Lemieux returned, of course, to continue a Hall of Fame career.